what's happening to me. Why does it hurt? Why do I feel pain? I'm, I'm not supposed to. I, I cannot. <gasps> What did Ezra say it was again? Some type of reverse comatose. She's there, but not all the way. This is horrible. For Cyrus, now Athena. It's like everything's falling apart. Uh, kinda makes you think which one of us is next. What? Uh, it's nothing, it's just... Uh, I wanted to just say that I think that you were right. About what? About Nyla. She and I had a bad history together. Talking to you made me realize that we need to sort through it. All we really had to do was talk it through. We're a team, and we need to act like one. You're right. And one thing that I haven't done as part of this team is apologize to you. I acted like a jerk, but all these emotions ran through me when you mentioned Savannah. We can talk about it when you're ready. I don't think I'll ever be. Nyla and I still hold regrets. Roland and the others talked to me before, about holding regrets. It's not worth it. We need to leave them behind. Yeah, you're right, of course. If I ever mention how much I hate that. Only about a million times. <laughs> <laughs> so, this plan of yours, are you sure it'll work? I'm not sure of anything anymore. But I believe this is our best shot. How goes the mission, Spartan? There seems to be a few snags in the plan. Oh? Cyrus and the blasted leader of ours have decided to pursue the corvette without following protocols or the proper starships to back us up. In other words, a suicide mission. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for, Spartan. Cyrus has finally slipped up. What should I do now? Should I keep up my cover, or reveal myself as an Oni agent to the team? You flee, of course. They're only going to get you killed. Cyrus has no place in placing military hardware such as you, Headhunters, in this position. But now I have enough evidence to... Well, that's enough, Cornelius. You? How could you have possibly known? A little birdie told me. You cannot stop me, Commander. You've operated with too much power for too long. And once I am through with you, you'll be demoted for treason. Do you honestly think I care about my rank? You aren't a fool. No, I am not. I am well aware of the risks and all the protocols we are breaking. But I'm putting my faith in the Spartans. You can't be serious. They're Spartans. Nothing but machines. My thoughts exactly at first. But they have shown me that they are much more than that. They're my comrades. Now if you excuse me, Cornelius, I have to converse with them. Don't you dare, Cyrus. I'm sure you have to go tattle on someone a little more important, right? Sir. Do... do you really see us more than machines? That's a question you can answer for yourself. But without trust, Dante, you might as well be. You have to be the one to ask. Do I trust them? And do they trust me? If the immediate answer is a yes to both, you might as well take a longsword and get off my ship.
I overheard the prophets talking about this place. It's called the Shield World. Apparently, it leads to a halo. A weapon. This halo is what the Covenant is after. And if they want something, it's our job to make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. But then there's the problem of getting off this rock. There are several ships that have slip space capability. The only problem is that Truth has hidden them somewhere on the inside of this planet. We can try and do both, stop what they're doing and get the hell out of here. Plan on doing them both, which means we need two teams. Raven, since you know where they're keeping their ships, you should lead a squad there. Who should I take? Spencer and Dante should be fine. Sam and I can handle the other end. We're doing recon on Truth's movements. If you can steal a ship, then stopping Truth will be child's play. Everyone, don't get too confident. If we don't get out of here, we're on our own. We have little provisions, no backup, and no way to the UNSC. We need to be careful. Of course, we're all familiar with the risks. Warthog's back up to full speed. It took me a while to get everything in order. Are we ready? As will ever be. What about the AI? Athena? We're taking her with us, of course. It's a liability. An AI that cannot serve its purpose is useless. Not to us. She stays. That's not the point. It's against protocol, too. That's enough. We don't have time for this. For now, the AI stays. Alright everyone, how about we call our jets and start this mission? That sound alright to you? <sighs> yeah. be fine, I'm sure of it. We'll make it back to the UNSC, Nyla. And if we don't make it out of this war, what happens then? I guess we'll just have to find out, huh? Who knew there were such monstrous caves underneath here? It's rather daunting, isn't it? I got lost a few times on my way to you. These caves are not naturally made, which means someone built them. Was it the Covenant? Either way, we couldn't possibly know. But something tells me this is older than the Covenant. Although there is a familiar vibe to it. Yeah. I know what you mean. Like, it's calling to me. Have any ideas of how far it is? A few kilometers, if I remember correctly. Oblique? Can you check ahead with your sensors? Of course. Checking now. Stop. There's a large force amazing ahead of you. How many, Oblique? At least a dozen, perhaps more. And there are ghosts and banshees as well. That must be where they're keeping the ships. Should we head in? Yeah, let's move. But we need to go on foot. This will only draw their attention.
Where is everyone? I thought you said there were a lot more enemies ahead. I still sense them. Although, something seems to be jamming my sensors. I think we all know that means nothing good. Stay alert and stick to the walls. Oblique, I need you to look for the ships. And Spencer. Yeah? Keep your rocket out. <laughs> my pleasure. How goes the search? Tiresome. I am making no progress finding the core. We are no closer to the Holy Rings. We have nothing but time, Truth. The humans are dead and reinforcements are coming. Fool! I care not for the humans or reinforcements. I must find the core. Of course. I will continue to stay at my post guarding our ships. Although I cannot imagine why all threats to us must be dead. Do not be so sure. The demons have surprised us before. I will find the gods, in the name of truth, and finally prove my worth, and nothing shall stop me. Kiza Rogame. Yes, mighty truth, I am yours to command. You come from a strong lineage of loyal Sanghili. You have proven yourself in battle, in strength, and in cunning. A true successor to your father's blood. Your words honor me. From this day forward, Kiza, you will become an extension of myself. You will display my values as my hand. You will crush my enemies as my hand. And you will prove your worth as my hand. Of course, there is no code above that of the hand. Good. Do not fail me, Kiza, for as of this day forward, you have adopted my name. You are now known as the Hand of Truth. Yes, nothing will stop me. Looks like they're no closer to what they're looking for. Good. That gives us time. At least we know their location now. We'll need some transportation to get the others here quickly. What do you have in mind? How about we borrow a banshee?
Looks like nobody's home. You had to say something. Shut up, you wanted to say it too. Focus, you two. Spence, aim for the big one on my signal. Your demons are something else. First, you destroy our Corvette, and now you wish to steal one of our phantoms. You are truly reckless. Not reckless enough, apparently. Now, Spencer! Get them. Kill the demons or truth will have our heads. What's wrong? I broke uh, my leg. I can't move much. You'll have to try. We don't have much time before they converge on us. He doesn't have the strength. His injuries are too severe. Uh, you're right. I can't go on much longer. I think I busted a rib as well. Internal bleeding, I suspect. Oblique, can you check for me? By my calculations, you should have died on impact. I can't understand why you're even alive. <laughs> well, that's adrenaline for you. What, what are you doing? We can't stop here. Dante, he can't go on. Then we'll carry him. He's too heavy. Maybe we can hold him off long enough- No. Don't bother. The end's coming. I can feel it. After all... After all I've been through. All that I've survived. Who would have thought I'd be taken down by a warthog? Spencer, you can't die. We need you. Go, now. I'll hold them off with my last bit of strength. Dante, get a bleak from me. We can't allow him to fall into the enemy hands. And here, take this. I won't be needing this anymore. 
right. I'm sorry, Spencer. I'm staying with you. We can fight them. Maybe Nyla and Sam can come back as reinforcements. No, Raven. I told you before. We're not the heroes. We were never meant to be. Spencer, you can't do this. I don't have much of a choice. Do I? Now get going. No sense of you dying as well. Goodbye, Spencer. <laughs> Goodbye. Oblique. Shut the door so the elites can't get past. Hopefully that will hold them for a few minutes. Now, but it is time for you to die. Uh, I've been told that many times. Arrogance is a noble mask against fear. Who said I was afraid? I knew fear, and you were weak of it. Anyways, enough of this. I've completed my purpose. Kill him. Well, aren't you going to do it? Aren't you going to fight? I'm done fine. My time is over. No one lets you know when the time to give up. But enough of this. Yeah, but you'll be coming with me.